live, super crooked. It's live on Saturday night, except it's Wednesday afternoon. Howdy, guys. It has been a hot second, and I totally forgot how to go live, and as I was setting all this up, everything was just reminded me of all the other times I used to go live and how chaotic it is, but I love you guys, so I'm gonna be here for you live. And I changed up my craft last minute. Hey, Teresa. Um, so realistically, I am trying to get back in the swing of going live because we have a huge giveaway going on from the 1st to the 12th of December. So if you're just joining today or you're watching the replay, um, mind you, this video might not be very good. Uh, my whole goal today was to practice with your studio so I could go back and forth with my cameras. And I only, and then I realized that like one of them is dead. So you have to use like an iPad or a phone. One of them is at our church because we've been using it for um, live streaming at the church. And then the other one is completely dead. So I was trying to charge that. It wasn't working. Um, hey, Julie. Hey, guys. I'm, I think I can just read comments from right there. You love my setup. So that's another thing is. I've been like moving my craft room around like crazy and I have the scrap box back here and it was working good because I could like light up the background and I'm playing around with light. I want to play with around with the backgrounds too so that when, and Hunter is seriously walking through the charger. Okay, so this is why I like got a studio outside of my house. A lot of reasons why I got a studio outside my house was because I could just like leave it set up, make sure that it was perfect, all the things. And now I work from home and my craft room is like one of our living rooms. So glad you caught me live. Hey Tay, watching you from work because I miss you. Oh, okay. Seriously, dude, you need to just chill. Okay. So anyways, I was going to do Christmas butters, which we're going to do next week with my assistant. Um, and we will make... Uh, sweaters with the SVGs that came out last week for the members. Hunter knows I'm live. He literally is the laziest dog ever until I'm live. He starts to pace. It's, it's just something about however I am like my energy coming out. It just like makes him have anxiety. So that's fun. Okay, so I was going to make Christmas sweaters. I literally went to go cut them those SVGs take a long time to cut, FYI, um, and I don't have all day. So if you're doing the Christmas sweater SVGs, they're detailed and they take a hot second. So we're not doing that. We'll do that next week. Um, so I'll pre-cut some of those and then we'll cut like maybe the tail end of one. Um, and then I was like, okay, let's do something else. Let's talk about bling. Let's bling some water bottles. Um, hey, Jana. And I... Couldn't find my E6000 anywhere, even though it was literally just sitting over there. So, Hot Mess Express right here, and it's all good because that's the whole point. But guys, I am preparing to do our Giving Tuesday. I did not do Giving Tuesday last year. Um, last year was the year from hell. So let's just put it that way. Um, for my family, for me, for everybody um, that consists in my people who live at my house. Uh, so last year we did not do Giving Tuesday. This year I decided I wanted to really focus on it. I will not be doing a Black Friday sale at all because I'm going to be 100% focusing on Giving Tuesday. If it's not a mess, it's not crafty. That's what I repeat to myself for sanity. Uh, sure. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to be um, clean, like to clean up after myself and to be organized and like just all these things and it's great until it does it's not functioning so um i moved the scrap box over there and then i need it because it really did a good job lighting up my background i don't mind this background and obviously i have some blank space i need to like re put up over here i moved it all over there and it looks so cute and then i was like okay now it needs to come back because Anyways, so anybody who's been joining my business member zooms has seen that I like 
am in a different, different spot every single week. I'm watching you while I redo my craft space. Woo! Okay, so some of y'all need to go live then so that I can um, watch you guys so that when you're live, I can work on my craft space. I got, just got an anti tay box. I need to open it. I can't remember what I got. I do that too. I order from myself on my website and then I forget what I ordered and then it's so exciting when you open the box. Okay, so I went to the Disney store because that's as close as I can get to Disneyland these days and they have so many cute water bottles so many cute ones so i have more than this i have a mickey one over there the other princess one that you guys will see in my holiday gift video do you have any silk shirts in your closet i think you need to go do we have any admins here uh it's been so long i forgot we need admins i forgot that there's weirdos on the internet um and it's literally the weirdest day of the weirdest year on earth today right because I said I'm not gonna talk about the election in, um, let me block you. We need some moderators who's here that I can uh, use as a moderator. Call it out, let's see. Julia, making you a moderator. Um, block them, girl, if you're gonna hang out. Stephanie, are you a moderator? Uh, add moderator. Okay, Stephanie, you're a moderator. Teresa, you are a moderator. Okay, so. For those who are joining in here that were in the Zoom meeting this morning, know that my day has already started out a little cray. So my Wi-Fi went out during our Zoom meeting that I host on Wednesdays for the business members and I got kicked out of my own meeting. And then I'm like, okay, so I'm my whole point in this was I'm gearing up for a big fundraiser. And whenever I decide, and this goes for anybody, um, who decides to try to do something big for the Lord, uh, guess who comes in and tries to sneak attack? And I'm just saying, spiritual battles, just saying, that's it. And then Briley is sick, not the vid, right? You don't have the vid, you just have the sick, right? Just the regular sick, not the vid sick. So she's, so normally on Wednesdays, they go and hang out with a bunch of kids, and um, not a bunch, because social distancing. They do homework with some kids. And um, so I was like, cool, Wednesdays, no kids, go live, all the things. And then she's sick, Wi-Fi's going out. Uh, can't find, these SVGs are taking forever. Can't find my E6000 to bling the things, which I'm not even sure if I'm gonna get to in this video. Cause I was like, what do I need? I, so I grabbed it all anyways. Welcome to the live show where I can't promise you I'm not going to talk about the election. Oh my gosh, I totally thought he was serious. Like he wanted a question about how to heat press on it. Like the silk, I know. Creepers, man, they get you every time. So you cannot heat press on silk, by the way. Um, okay, so I grabbed our new colors. So this is because when I started, you know, launching bling, we did not have the jars of bling. So I have all my bling in organizers like this, but the new colors, I don't. So they have the jars. So if you guys are new to the bling world, the anti tay bling world, I only have one, two of my sizes out. Okay, so we have, how many sizes do we have? Four sizes? We have large, medium, small, and mixed, right? SS20, SS16, SS12, and a mix. The mix has everything from SS5 all the way to SS20. Um, the mix and the small come in a jar like this, the medium come in a jar between, and then the large comes in a jar like this one. They actually have the same amount of stones in all of them, if you didn't know that. They're just smaller, so they take up less space. And Bradley's making her lunch right now, so if you hear something in the background, that's what that is. Um, all the good things. So any questions about anything? Um, yeah, any questions? I think I'm going to love your bling. Will you be bringing back chunky glitters? Great question. Do I have any samples? So I'm actually going to start carrying somebody else's brand of glitter. And I'm really excited to announce who that is. And she has amazing chunky glitters. So we'll be doing her chunkies. And then I have yet to find another brand that carries fine glitter as pretty as the glitter that I carried in some of our colors. So I will probably be launching fine glitter again, 
but I may be doing smaller bottles because when I stopped doing epoxy, um, I found that I had way too much glitter and I really like, I wanted to Mod Podge glitter these. I don't need a whole box, but whatever those are, jars of, do you guys, I, I, yeah. So I'm freeing up warehouse space, honestly. This hair, it's bugging the junk out of me. Um, I'm freeing up warehouse space because we have big things, obviously like the Bujo, the bubble journal is coming and that will be available for pre-order from my, for my members ASAP very soon. Um, and you also get 50% off YouTube channel Rabia Hessen working art. So I don't know what that means. Um, I think I need to like pretend go live a few times before I get back on the internet because I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Have you ever done the snow globe tumblers? Great use for glitter. I've seen that, I have, and you know, the tumbler game is booming. It really is. And for the people who know me and have followed me for a while, know that I, here's the crafting world. I want to be um, a crafting revolutionary. So I don't necessarily want to copy anybody or do what everyone else is doing. I want to come up with new concepts. So no, I have not tried it, but if you want to do it, yes, glitter. That's an amazing craft for glitter. What are we doing in there? Okay, Hunter's being crazy. So, anyways, I don't know where I was going with that. Should we, shall we bling? Shall we bling? Okay, so I think I'm just gonna stick with the aerial one. I wanted to ask about the longevity of bling with the sticky paper. Great question. That is, uh, it has a lot of longevity as long as it's something you're not gonna wash. So in reality, I would love to do the sticky on this, but this is the thing that you have to wash. So I had to find my E6000. But we have it on the lounge fly bags now. We have it on the koozies. Oh, Briley, bring me that koozie so I can show you what I'm gonna be blinging with you guys on one of the 12 days of Christmas. Um, the bling koozie. I'll actually sneak peek. So the 12 days of, it's really why I'm going live too, is to promote the fact that we will be doing crafts for 12 days um, in a row. Yeah, and then giving away from some amazing sponsors. At the end of this, I'm gonna announce the three sponsors that I have locked in with what they're giving away. So this is the koozie and this is the double-sided sticky and this is the SS20 um, Enchanted. Is it Duchess or is it Enchanted? I don't know. It's like Duchess. Thanks. It's Duchess. So it has a clear background. And then I used white rabbit glitter in between it to fill in all the sticky gaps. This has been really cool. And um, this is just our koozie template that you trace onto the double side. It's not double sided. This is the regular sided. The next step that I'm going to try is the double sided on top of fabric. Um, or on top of HTV and felt so that it's a no so and all that stuff. So, um, so at, because I carry products, I'm not trying to do crafts that are gonna, are gonna like have be something of my hobby. Does that make sense? I don't, I'm not, I'm trying to like teach how to use products. So I, I, I don't know. So yes, I have not tried the snow globe tumblers, but there are people out there who do amazing snow globe tumblers. But if you need a tutorial, I might be your girl, but I don't know when I'll have that on the docket. Um, another one that's coming out, this video is actually coming out in a few days, I believe, is the patterned lid tumbler with the bling. And then Ivy Pink Maid made me this for my birthday. So yes, this koozie is amazing and it's so easy to make. So we'll be doing this in the 12 days of giveaways. We'll be also doing, um, lots of cute stuff. I have a lot of cute stuff planned for the 12 days of giveaways. It'll be much more professional than this. I promise you. That's the whole reason I'm trying to just get more, um, you know, organized with this stuff. You're obsessed with my tree. You can only see like that much of it. Um, so fun fact, that tree is only half decorated because it's for the videos and um, I keep it tucked in the corner in here so that people don't think I'm crazy that I have my tree up already. 
but it is. And it brought a little light into the back. That's really why I moved it over here. And plus, I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, I tried to get it all off. I like dragged that thing across the room and got snow all over me. Snow. And um, yeah. So if you guys haven't been following my Instagram, uh, we got a big, huge hole dug in our backyard yesterday because we're putting a pool in. Whoop, whoop. whoop. Because um, we're in California where we're still locked down. So if we can't go anywhere, we're gonna make our house really, really fun. I thought that was a glitter sweater, LOL. What? Oh, it's just snow. Maybe I'll just put glitter on it to make it blend in. Shall we get to the craft? I do have to go get my daughter pretty soon. Um, so I thought I would just hang out, really just get used to going live again. Um, yeah, cause it's, I don't know. There's just something about it that's, it's, en it's energy draining. Um, I love this sweater. The SVG is awesome. Thank you. I love this, this SVG. This is, this is my attitude today. It has to be. I was going to put on the SIDS toy shop shirt, um, which now I have a lot of shirts I can actually wear in the lives because I made them all for Disney World, which we have not talked about by the way. Um, so I, uh, I was like, I'm wearing that one because I need to just have that mentality today because literally not talking about the election. I promised you I wouldn't. Really love your lives. Looking forward to seeing more. Thanks. I'm trying, gonna get, try to get into a routine of doing them. But again, we will be live the first through the 12th doing a craft. You remember how we did the craft-a-thon, the five hour craft-a-thon? We're doing that again. But I hate announcing stuff like this because I feel like then it just gets sabotaged and it doesn't work out. But I'll be having videos from my Africa trip, um, sharing a little bit more about my Africa trip that I have been on, my stories through Africa and stuff like that. And then we're gonna hopefully finish that art project that we never got to finish because we were supposed to raise $10,000 and we only raised $8,000. So hopefully with the 12 days, um, I am going to raise a lot more money than that. Hopefully we are going to. So if you're a business member, you can fill out the form on the business member sheet to be a part of the giveaway. Um, we just need an item that's worth $30 for us to give it away. Um, and then also we will promote you and talk about you in the video. I've been following you for a long time and thought it was only the one. Uh, what was only the one? Sorry, I'm in California too, so I get need for fun house. Congrats on the pool. Thanks, I posted info. Stephanie posted info on the business member Facebook group too. So if you guys wanna be in that group, check that out if you have a business and you have something you wanna offer. But we have a major sponsor for each video of the day where we're gonna be giving away big old prizes. So, um, we have three major ones locked in with what they're giving away. We have a bunch of other major ones that are still thinking about what they want to give away. But can you guys guess who the sponsors are? And then I will be sponsoring one of the days as well. You guys know that I always give away a cricket. So I'll be giving away at least one cricket. I may do a match for match giveaway cricket um, for however much we raise. And obviously, well not obviously, because a lot of people don't know, and we haven't done this fundraiser in two years. So I can't assume that you guys all know, but basically my family saved $10,000 for the entire year in 2018 to match you guys. And you guys gave $8,000 and that was super awesome. So we gave $18,000 to Christ Hope International. So we're also gonna be um, possibly pairing with Operation Underground Railroad. I've been really praying about this because it's an organization that is so near and dear to my heart and I love it. However, I've been getting this overwhelming feeling that they've gotten so much um, support this year that I want to support the organization that I'm even closer with personally and um yeah so I think that's the route I'm going I need a Christmas gift stocking stuff for DIY ideas well I have four Christmas idea videos coming out hopefully 
gonna put them up before the haul the the give the yeah the 12 days of giveaway so it doesn't like blend in we have um stocking stuffers uh bling stocking stuffers ideas under 15 dollars to cricket love language ideas and i can't remember the fourth one it's another one crickets or or all the things 21 bling i don't bling gift ideas bling stocking stuffer ideas so you're gonna need some bling if you're gonna be blinging things um if you guys know i love to subtly bling because i don't have 800 hours of my life to bling things so like this landis did this um the thing i love about the the double-sided sticky and the no glue is um okay kim reach out to us on facebook then if you want to um donate some stuff so um what is he saying? She blings my big things and then I bling the subtle things or she does too. So anyways, let me do some tips really quick that I've never talked about. Um, and I just taught Landis this one too. So every time I open these, I start to talk about how bling is where I started my DIY business life when I was 17. I actually started blinging and like just dawned on me in the last six months that I was like, hello, I used to use syringes to bling. Why am I not doing that? Don't have them on shopantitay.com yet, but I got these on Amazon. So I added them to my Amazon store. However, these ones are dumb. They don't have lids. So we don't want to do that. Um, you want to find ones that have lids because the glue dries out so fast. Um, Okay, so I am going to grab the color I want to use and start blinging while we chat. And then I'll, I just want to do some of her purple bra. Ariel is in a bra. Can we not? We're not going to talk about that. Um, and her little flower that I'm pretty sure. Okay, whatever. And I want to do her hair. And maybe, oh no, I want to do life is the bubbles all around it. Like bubbles. Um, okay. So let's find life is the bubbles. I really need to label these. I know my bling though. I know where it's at. So here's what I do. I have this little tray from, I have two. I have a recollections one, which is this one. And then I have the, we are meant. No, it's just a blank one that I got at Hobby Lobby that has these little dividers in it. So cool. It's in the embossing section, I think. Okay. Put a little bling in this thing. And I feel like a cooking show, except nobody eats at the end of my anything that I do. So it's kind of pointless. Okay. So I'm just going to, um, get my glue ready. So E6000 tips. Are you guys ready for this? Um, E6000 dries out super fast. So you don't want to leave the lid off, but it goes out really fast too. So a syringe is helpful. You don't have to use a syringe and the tip of the bling tool helps you pick up glue and put it where you want it if that's what you want to do with your life. There's no wrong way to glue, except there is. There's lots of wrong ways to do it, but there's multiple ways to do it successfully. Okay, so I like these syringes because the lid fits like this in it, and then I can just squish some glue up in there. Like I don't even need a lot, and I just scrape it off like that, and put the lid back on, okay? We don't need the bottle of V6000 anymore. And put this thingy in there. Again, I really, really would love to see you guys get syringes that have lids. I'm trying to use these up because I bought a box of like 50 of them. So one day I'll have ones with lids because I gotta be resourceful. Until then, what I do is I take just a little piece of tissue which my kids love to take off the ends. And I like to get the glue to come out just a tiny bit. See this, can you see that? And then I just glue that on there right there. So I leave that on there while I'm not using the syringe so that it doesn't hit the air too much and it doesn't um, dry out. So um, again, warning, E6000 is really chemically and it's not good for you. So do it outside or do it in a well ventilated area. Um, I'm literally doing like two things and that just shows how well my lungs are doing. They have, um, I need to do an update video on that by the way, cause lots of people finding that video now and it's over a year old and I'm doing really well. Oh guys, should we use, um, what am I blanking on the name? Kitty. 
I'm gonna also use some kitty. They're large. Oh, now I'm mixing. I don't wanna do, I'm not gonna mix them. But kitty is our new color. Basically, it's the same as Life is the Bubbles, but it's AB, which means it's rainbow. So Life is the Bubbles and kitty, very similar. They're this very pretty tealish blue, but then kitty has this rainbow over it, so it pulls out purples and lots of other colors, but it's inspired by Soli. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna put little dabs and why did you just order syringes on Amazon? <laughs> yes, so I, I will tell you that story in a second after I tell you the details of how to glue. Um, so the thing with E6000, you don't wanna do too much at a time because it will dry. It takes 24 hours to fully cure, but it dry, starts to dry super fast. So I'm gonna do little hidden Mickeys and um, I'm also gonna, actually I'm just gonna put three on here so I can show you all the deets, okay? Because there's tips and tricks that I need to be teaching you guys. All right, I'm gonna use my bling tool to pick up the largest size and put it on there and I'm gonna do a little hidden Mickey, um, hidden Mickey bling and then I'm gonna talk to you guys for a second. I'm gonna do two. I'm gonna do two different sizes because that's why I like our mix. That's why I originally started with mix because you can do multiple different sizes of hidden Mickeys. And I wanna show you, and where else did I put that? And then this one won't be a hidden Mickey, it'll just be a dot. Okay, so I put hidden Mickey there in SS20 and SS whatever the size is there. And then I did a little or baby one. And then I just did one. These are supposed to be bubbles. Get it? Cause it's life is the bubbles. Okay. So I'm going to let it dry just a tiny bit. And then I'm going to go in with this side of the bling tool and I'm going to clean up the outside. And you'll notice the more you do this, um, you can literally, it's almost like a command hook. You can pick up the glue and pull it and it'll pop that bling right off. But if you pick it up and pull it around the bling leaving the glue that's underneath it it takes playing with and it takes learning like when's the proper time to do it and when it's not um typically it's good to just get your glue where you want it but if you do need to clean it up there's like a a magic moment to do it um if that makes sense which all these things are bringing back so many memories of when i started blinging so I didn't even have bling on my radar to add to shopantitay.com until I started to scout it and add it. But um, I actually started my DIY life and businesses blinging. And do you guys wanna know that story <laughs> or is it just dumb? Um, otherwise, if you have more questions, let me know. So I thought I missed it, I was coming to rewatch. Nope, we are live, Johanna. Okay, so I um, was 17 years old and I was working at the local gym with children because that's my favorite thing to do when I didn't have my own and realized like, oh, you're gonna do this for the rest of your life and not get paid for it. It's okay, I love kids. Obviously, I do lots of crafts and my kids hate crafts. They Well, they don't hate crafts, they just hate any craft that I've come up with myself. And what time is it? One twenty. I gotta get going soon. But we're still good. Story time. We're ready for story time. Uh, welcome, Vicky. So, oh, there's even bubbles on here. I'm just gonna bling those. Um, where was I? I was working at the gym. Life was great. I had, um, I had my favorite job. It was so fun. It was so creative. I got to do tons of creative things at that job. Um, I was put in charge of like throwing the parties and putting together like these events. It was really fun. Anyways, um, if it paid more, I probably would go back to it one day, but maybe I'll do it when I'm retired. Wow, rabbit trails. So living my best life over there. Actually life was kind of chaos there, but my job was really good. And um, one of the moms walks in with these rhinestone flip-flops and they're so cute and she was like I paid $80 for them on this new website called Etsy and I was like what is Etsy and um why would somebody pay $80 for those and then I went home and I told Dustin because I was 17 we were dating at the time and I was like yo listen there's these women that pay $80 for flip-flops and 
there's this new website called Etsy. I don't know what that is, but it's there. And then I met another gym mom who had bought like a hand sewn purse for like $95 on Etsy. And back then there was like 1.5 people selling on Etsy. So um, I was like, I could do this. I could sell on Etsy. And that's all it took for me to say. And Dustin had flip flops and glue syringes and bling ordered for me. He was, because at the time he was selling on eBay. And so we were really into like e-commerce and learning about how to sell online and finding like low or high profit margin, little products, all that stuff, all that stuff. So um, he like found a wholesaler for it, got it, even though back then the wholesaler, I was paying so much for it. It was, it was hard to find wholesalers back then. Anyway, so we paid for Swarovski, even though now that I'm like, know this game, like the back of my hand, we were not buying Swarovski rhinestones. Swarovski is a brand of rhinestones and they don't really sell. Anyways, if someone's telling you that you're getting something blinged with Swarovski, I doubt it. Anyways, so got my gear all together and had a business blinging things. And then I just realized it was not for me. I was like, I don't want to bling rhinestones for the rest of my life. I love working with kids. Um, and that was like the first time I learned, like, you're not cut out to make the same thing over and over and over and over again. Um, I didn't know that it was going to lead to me one day doing what I'm doing now, but at that time it's one of those learning moments and I was stuck with a ton of bling. And so I ended up blinging like everything. I blinged anything and everything I had because I was trying to use up all this bling. And so I got really good at blinging and I was stuck with yellow and green at the end. Probably why I don't really want to launch the basic yellow on the website because I have like nightmares of the yellow just like everywhere. Like I blinged everything yellow because I had so much yellow left over because I would buy it in like a lot back then. And so anyways, I had a lot of yellow blinged things and I was known in my family as like the person who loves bling and loves blinging things. And okay, you are being loud, interrupting my story laptop. Hold on, how do I turn my sound off? There we go. Um, okay, can anybody help me with the elf clothes idea? What does that mean, elf clothes idea? I really should just find this video so that I can comment here and read your comments a lot better. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I don't have to lean in your faces all the time. All right, comment away. I'm here reading and I can go back and read. Um, I need syringes. Dave will say the same thing. Yeah, so syringes are, I remember when I had like, cause when I was doing that, he had bought me a ton of syringes and I was, I was like, why people are gonna think like, we're not doing things that we should be doing over here. Cause we have so many syringes and I don't buy them with the needle anymore, but he actually bought me them with the needle because he like did all this research of like, what do you need to be a professional blinger? And everybody had suggested needles so that it didn't even thinner, but I never used the needles. I just used the tip. So I was left with a bunch of needles. I finally sold them all at a garage sale one day when I was, when we were getting out of debt, I was like, don't ask, just get, take them. And then I, they looked like they were using, I think it was, uh, we're not even gonna go there. I don't know who I sold them to. And I might've helped somebody with the bad choices in their life, but I doubt it. Okay, so this is what my favorite part of this tray is, is that when I'm done with the bling, I can put it back in the jar or my organizer by just dumping it in through the hole. I think this has a, a plug too somewhere, but I don't have it with me. Elf on the shelf, is that what she's talking about? That's what I was thinking she was talking about. So ideas for that? Um, I was reminded that I have my Christmas angel that my kids have kind of outgrown, but they still love it. Um, and I still have the book available, but I've never really promoted it. And I'm like, dude, you have like a really big following and it's a really cool book. So you should probably talk about it. I don't sell the trays yet. I have been looking for them wholesale. I Recollections is Michael's brand. So I can't carry this brand 
It's like only Michaels. So I got this at Michaels. And then the blue one is not even branded. It's from Hobby Lobby, but there's no brand on it. So I'm like, dude, I could find that somewhere, but I can't. It's just amazing. Um, I use syringes with my epoxy, but I like the E6000 idea too. The thing is, once it's, like, I'm sure you could clean it out if you wanted to, but it's like a one-use, one-time-use thing, so it makes a lot of garbage, which is lame. Okay, let's do her bra. What color should we do her bra in? 126. Let's be live for, like, five more minutes, and then I got to go. We could do it in, um... Dutch it. No, I meant Cheshire and her bra could change colors. Um, why only 26 light girls? You deserve more because we're live. Um, you guys can like the video if you'd like, but live videos typically don't get as many likes just because people are more commenting than they are liking. So if you'd like to like the video, go ahead and click like right now. Um, oh my gosh, why only say 20? Okay, I read that already. I am in a mood today. I like, I want to bling her, her tail. That would be so pretty. Let's do it. We're going to bling her tail. So I'm going to go in because her tail has like greens and purples. I'm going to bling this side with greens, just like an accent of green. And then this side with some purple. So I'm just going to do a little strip of green. This is why I really love accents. One, because it really spruces up a project and it can be, um, fancy but you didn't have to spend 800 million dollars on it because then you can have all the colors of the anti-tabling and not use them all because listen there's people out there who are doing the big things with the bling and about that life i'm about the subtle bling subtle glitter but you do you i am not even like if you want to bling a whole thing i know people have asked me to do like um bigger jars of bling the problem, the problem is bling is so heavy. It is ridiculously heavy. And the bigger the jars, the heavier and heavier it gets. So it's more expensive to ship. But it's also like my poor male people, they hate when I get my big orders. Because we package all of our bling in my home on my kitchen counter. Um, my poor male people hate when I get a, a new shipment of bling. Because they're like, oh, there goes uh, my back again because you live on the world's steepest driveway and you also order 5,000 pounds of bling. So there's that, you know, look at me thinking of others. Did you say where you got the cups? I missed the beginning. Oh girl, I got these at Disney store. I secretly felt like I went to Disneyland for a second. Um, so there was a line because they have to social distance and I got there and I so love the Disney store because we still have not talked about Disney World and I don't want to hurt everybody's feelings that love Disney World, but y'all got to step it up in the magic game. I'm not even joking. So, um, my... I went to the Disney store and the lady at the Disney store had like, she felt like I was going on a ride. She was like, hi, welcome to Disney. Make sure to take your, or put, keep your mask over your nose and keep whatever they say. Keep six feet apart from everybody and have a good moment, like sh happy shopping. And I was like, oh, I'm back, I'm at Disneyland. And am I just because I can't be at Disneyland? Like everything feels like Disneyland. And I'm like, I just wanna be there. Well, everything doesn't feel like Disneyland. I want everything to feel like Disneyland. And it doesn't. Oh, snap. What am I thinking? Let's use um, the purple. What is this one called? I was... This is not Schmoopsie Poo. This is, I believe, Googly Bear. No, Schmoopsie Poo. Help a sister out. This one's purple. And it's our new Monsters Ink line. So I'm going to use that on her. I could totally be using our new green on her um, on her tail too because it's holographic and it will blend better. What am I doing with my life? Um, COVID, Walt Disney World is totally different. Uh, I have blinged two tumblers and I like blinging the cups. I looked up going to Disney World last night and it was so cheap right now. I want to go so bad. I know, but they're getting packed again and I ain't about that life. Guys, Disney World... 
Anyways, I got these cups at the Disney store. I don't know if that answered your question, but that's where I got them. I was on a hunt for Stephanie's baby's gift um, and ended up buying 8 million cups. So there's that. And um, now I have all the cups. But I don't even know what I was saying anymore. Disney World, guys. Disney World was... It was fun. It was hot. And I know you all were like, don't don't wear those sweaters, which we didn't. I just brought them to take pictures in and wanted some cute Disney content um, in the shirts or the hoodies. I don't even think we ended up getting to wear the hoodies only because, well, we did. I took pictures right when we got into the park. But by the beginning of the day, going into the park, the first two days were amazing. We went to Epcot and we went to uh animal kingdom those were fun and i think everybody agrees that those are super fun we don't have that in disneyland um it's super cool um one of the biggest things i really loved about epcot is i know disney uh, walt disney got to be a part of like the planning of that which shows um guys because i'm not just a disneyland fan i'm a walt disney fan and he uh put his time into so many details that once he died, people can't replicate what was in his head. And you can tell when you go into areas of Disney World. I was like, mm -mm, Walt would not have approved of this. So um, I know it's really dumb, like some of the reasons why I didn't like Disney World, but everything I've heard from all the other Disney lovers is that, um, oh, this goes back in the jar, is that, it, they feel the same way totally and you didn't get to see the rocks at the entrance with the view of the Epcot ball no 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 Epcot was amazing we got to see it at night we got to be there when their crowds were low the food was awesome guys Epcot Animal Kingdom amazing loved it Hollywood Studios I could have done without ever stepping foot in that place ever and we'll never probably step foot in there again. Uh, that, which to be fair, Walt Disney did not um, have any part in making uh, California Adventures here in California. But man, I don't know. There's just a difference between the staff at Disneyland and the staff at Disney World. It's just, they're trained a little differently. They're trained to be more magical. Let me just put it that way. Um, just became a member today. Did you finish the starter cricket course? Um, I have not. Actually, I was planning to do Zoom cricket course. So we are going to have like a Zoom. I It's kind of on hold just with a lot of the things that we have going on. So, but we will be making it and I will be getting it out there, whether it's live or filmed or a Zoom. There will be a, a beginner cricket, beginner cricket tutorials. Hollywood Studio is easily my least favorite. So lame. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> to be frank, I uh yeah, it would we all we left super early. We didn't even want to know what it looked like at nighttime. We were like it and the weather was awful that day too. So not just like everyone says, "Oh, it rains for like 45 minutes like dumps water," which I would have really wanted to see but never happened. It was gloomy from start to finish and it, it was just humid and it was it was just hot, so hot. And um, and I hate complaining about it, but it was, we're probably never gonna go back. I just want Disneyland to open. So weather makes a huge difference. My nails are on fleek, but this one broke off. So they're like nine tenths on fleek. Um, Animal Kingdom, Pandora World at night is just too much. Florida weather, lol. Uh, Pandora was amazing. Animal Kingdom was amazing. Now, I have heard from people that the... Now, I can't remember who told me this. Otherwise, I would need to call them right now and be like, you're wrong. Um, I have heard some people say that the safari in Animal Kingdom is better than being on a real safari. I'm sorry. That is incorrect. Wrong. Um, real safari, it, it doesn't even, it doesn't even, like, they don't even, 
they don't even, it's not the same thing. They're not. Uh, so a real safari, definitely, definitely better than Animal Kingdom. However, if you've never been on safari, you don't have a chance to go anywhere where you can be on safari, then yes, it's amazing. Absolutely. So yeah, I can't, re I think the person told me that because they were like, you get to see more types of animals on the safari, the Animal Kingdom safari, which is true. You do get to see an array of different animals that you don't get to see in Africa. But sadly, the, uh, the animals in Animal Kingdom are small. They're definitely a lot smaller than real animals. <laughs> real outdoor animals, you know what I mean? Not real animals, but they are, they're in captivity, so they don't grow that big. So the elephants, are literally like the size of a, a baby elephant. Like they're not big. In real life, they are huge elephants and they're humongous. And so can't compare that. But Animal Kingdom in itself was amazing. I stopped at the little um, shop and talked to somebody from Kenya because they have actual stuff that they get from Kenya to sell there. Mind you, the necklace that the girls wanted was like, $20 and you could get it in Africa for like $2 or less. So, um, you know, Disney's doing their part to support people in Africa by selling stuff that they buy from there, but they're selling them for a lot more. So, um, anyways, yeah, Animal Kingdom was cool. And look at me, I just gave a, I'm like a, I did like a Dustin. I just like put the craft to the side and was like, let's just hang out and chat. So I did the green, but I want to do the other color green on her tail. Uh, what table are you on that is that height? This is my South Shore. It's in my Amazon store on craft room. One of those things, studio, one of those, one of those categories but it has an Ikea top on it because I wanted the top to be a little bigger, but it wiggles. I need to get a new top because this one's shot. Like I have crafted, that's why I like putting a new top on it is because you can get one for kind of inexpensive and then when it's done, you can just like demolish it and get a new one. Um, you can do any type of top on top of it. it. Oh, it never rolled before. It's even higher now because I got casters and had Dustin put casters on it. So once I got the scrap box, I was like, everything's going on wheels. This is a game changer. But then I moved my office around like every 10 minutes. And people can attest to that who have been here. They're like, oh, you moved it again. Uh-huh, I did. Because everything's on wheels. So I can. Um, I got my tree from Michael's last year, I believe. Um, and I got all the decor for it this year at Hobby Lobby because... We were so extra, we got a storage unit for, not just Christmas, but we got a storage unit for all of our renovation stuff because we have drywall and lumber and all the stuff that just takes up a ton of space. So we got a, um, but we also put all of our Christmas bins in that with it because two birds with one stone. So then when I was like, I want a Christmas tree in my videos, I had them pull this out, but we could not find all the decor for this one. So there's that downfall of storage units. It's like, you don't know where anything is. So, um, yeah, so I decorated it. I got, I made sure, I actually went to Michael's first. I think I shared it in my Instagram stories. I didn't buy anything there because nothing was on sale and I didn't have any coupons. So I'm not about that life. And um, I went to Hobby Lobby, everything was 50% off. So I actually ended up only using the flowers. These are my favorite. I used these flowers. They're like in the wedding section or they're not in the flower section. Um, one of my favorite tips when you go to the craft store is to look not in the section you're looking for the thing that you want because it's probably a better price or might be on sale in a different spot at the store. Um, but it doesn't even have the ornaments on it yet. Oh, and these were just to die for. Like, they're so cute. I don't know if you can see them, but they're these little pink furry pom-pom balls and then these white snowballs with glitter. Like, I could make those, but I could also just buy them because they were so cute. And I don't need a ton of them, so. What do you guys want me to make for 12 DIYs of Christmas? I have, I think, six of the crafts 
locked down. Um, but if there's anything that you guys want to see specifically, it will not be like basic how-to tutorials. We'll be making crafts and I probably won't slow down to explain how to make any of them. So if you're looking to learn something, that's probably not the time. But um, ornaments is actually on the list. I have quite a few styles of ornaments I'm planning to do for one of the videos. Fake gingerbread house. That's a good idea with glitter, the ornaments with glitter. Um, yeah, I ended up picking up, oh, I could do those like a gingerbread house. I was thinking of doing like an Auntie Tay themed gingerbread house with like the pinks and the whites. Um, oh, an advent calendar, that's a great idea. Santa cookie tray with reindeer, so cute. Okay, if you're watching the replay later, comment down below your idea so I can read through them. Um, how about something you can change out for Christmas to winter theme? Got you covered. I already got one of those. Um, oh, and I told you I would announce the three sponsors that we already have for the giveaway. And did you guys guess? Um, home signs with your SVGs. Got you covered. And I don't think you guys will see it coming the way that I'm going to be doing it. It's clever. It's clever. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So, um... Those are covered. I don't have wreaths on the list. That would be fun. Okay, did anybody guess the sponsors? Obviously not Cricut, but I will be giving away Cricut. A Cricut, that's me. I'm sponsoring. Um, wood cookie crafts, I guess people call them wood rounds, but we call them cookies. Wood rounds. Oh, like, like big wood rounds to put cookies on? I saw them at Marshall's. I don't know if we're talking about the same thing, but I saw like wood... Um, cutting boards at Marshall's and I was like that's such a like easier way to get one of those that's like pre-stained um okay so the first sponsor that we have is create room so they will be giving away something from the category of dream not dream box they're not giving away a dream box but they're giving away something create room do you guys know who that is you know they make the dream box they make the scrap box they make all the things um so create room will be one of the sponsors and the next sponsor will be icon art so um i you guys are going to see me use that a lot i love it um and they're giving away 500 dollars worth of product and the next one is Expressions Vinyl. So they're giving away something super cool too. And then me. So that's our four right now that are locked down on what we're giving away. Not telling you what we're giving away yet. Um, obviously I've hinted that I'm gonna be giving away a Cricut, but I will be putting together some other stuff as well. Um, and then for our little sponsors, I'll announce them over time. If you're a member, don't forget to fill out the form. And basically you'll have to ship to the winner when they win. So um, we'll have all that set up and all that good stuff. So I'll be live again next Wednesday, um, talking more about the giveaway, probably testing out some more camera angles, maybe sharing some more stories. We will make Christmas sweaters with Jacqueline, my assistant. Um, and if all goes right, if all goes right, cause today a lot of things were off, just everything was off today, but it's all good. Um, it'll all work out. Are you giving away that wonderful Christmas tree? <laughs> you know what? Maybe I can convince Michaels to give away a Christmas tree bundle. I will ask them, but, um, I have not confirmed if they are in or they are not, but, um, we are still, I'm going to be announcing more of them and I'll be announcing them on Instagram and all that stuff, but looking for some big contenders to be a part of it. So Finding the form now to donate my bands, woo! Okay, so yes, there are lots of things that I would love to see my members give away. Um, and if you don't, I might be buying things from your guys' websites to give away myself because some of the things are just too cute not to. So one of the things is the bands, the Apple Watch bands that I love that are engraved. Um, I'm not sure if that's the one you're talking about, but that's one of the ones that I love. Um, so, so many fun things. There's a form right on the member site. I am, I hate my hair. I like my hair. I don't mind it, but it just does some funny things being short. So, um, 
Okay. All right. No bothers given today. I'll see you guys next Wednesday. If not, I'll try to go live some other times during the week. Testing out different times of the day too because um, I want to lock down like when's the best time and all the things for the 12 DIYs of giveaways. So it'll be super fun. It'll be a good time. We'll have some fun things for you guys. Um, yeah. All right. I'll see you guys when I see you. Bye.